So after doing a ton of testing on Navia, I really wanted to run her in some unconventional team comps, because right now most of her best teams just consist of Bennett and Shangling, and that's really boring to play, I don't like playing it. So I wanted to try different teams with Farina, and since I just got her, she is mostly underbuilt. Uh, she's still level 80 with uh, talents at 686, which is acceptable for me to show her potential DPS. I've been using a mix of um, WGS and Sack Greatsword for the weapon, and at the moment since my Sack isn't really max level yet, I actually prefer using the Wolf's Gravestone just because I'm not using Bennett and I don't really have any other source of attack buff. In this team, I'm running Nabia with the healing build Mona. So Mona in this slot actually does perform decently well because she allows you to buff Navi's front loaded damage with her burst by also providing Farina with a decent amount of healing through the prototype Amber and the Maiden set. So in ideal scenarios, this team does actually work pretty well. It's not Navi's best team by far or anything, but I have discussed Mona's synergy with Farina in previous videos, so I find that you can apply some of it in this scenario as well. Really the major issue with running Mona in this team is survivability. So for example, the Capellius boss deals so much damage to the point where it becomes extremely difficult to just survive while clearing in a reasonable amount of time. So the next team I want to discuss is the Navia Farina Dory team. Yes, Dory is another character I made a video on previously and I was trying to think of a character that would really appreciate the on-field time that Navia provided and I realized that it could be spent on C6 Dory since she can heal while doing basic attacks for 3 seconds. Her healing provides Farina with a lot of stacks in order to set up the next shot for Navia. And you might not actually want to even run her over someone like Jean because 1. She allows you to crystallize Electro, 2 she regenerates some energy with Fab Sword, and 3 she takes up just the right amount of field time where she's able to heal her maximum amount without having to stay on field for way too long. And so she slots into this team really nicely. I genuinely really like this team since the rotations are like very fluid. 